Hello everyone. My name is Franklin Avangana. Welcome to my online tutorials, where I give you the insight on emerging technological issues affecting matters in education. Subscribe to my channel, so that you don't miss out on my upcoming tutorials. Subscription is free, you won't be charged anything instead, you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Welcome, and keep on learning. So we continue the design of our timetables and uh, eventually have a printout which can be hung in the class or in the staff room for the teachers and even learners consumption. Welcome. Now this is where we were in my previous tutorial. We had already generated our timetable. The best thing with the ASC timetable software is the ability for you to customize the timetable the way you want it unlike many softwares outside there which are rigid when it comes to the design of your timetable. For us to design our timetable we shall have to go to print preview button which can be found under the file or the main tab. So under the main tab I will click on print preview will get to the design or rather the preview of your timetable and that's how the printouts of your timetable will look like. From this section you can have various options to print from. All these are the various outputs of the timetables you can print. Like this one is a block timetable, what you normally call a block timetable. So under select your report you can select the timetable want to print. We shall come to that later. Let's go back to timetable for each class. Now when I click on the timetable, I can zoom in and out. To design, I want us to have a title up there. So I'll right click at that particular point. The following dialog box will pop up and we want to change the font of the header. The header is simply the class, the form or the grade. So I'll click on the font and I'll make it bold. I'll change it to size 4. And then for the font style, I'm going to select a font known as Tahoma. And then click OK. For header, text. This is the header text. I'll type there the title of my timetable. This was BD school. Let it be term 2. Good. And then for the font, I'll make it bold. Same font style. size 6. You can use the slider as well or simply key in the size that you want. Then click on OK. Click OK. So you can see we have the title for our timetable and then the class font has also been modified. Next want us to change the font for the periods and the time is not visible at all. I'll right click straight away anywhere in this section. So I'll right click there. And then we have the font of the time. For the time, I'll make it bold. I'll select a font known as Lato. Make it size 24. same on the font for the lesson. Make it bold. Select Lato. Size 35. Click on OK. And then for the bell times, I select time format 24 hour uh, clock system. I select the second option, then click on OK. Click OK. So there we are, the period. 
periods are visible and the time is also uh, clear. Next, I want to change the font for the subjects and the code and the initials for the teacher. I'll right click there. So this button can switch the subject on and off. You can change the position, the subject accordingly. I'll leave it there. For the font, I'll make it bold. Select the home. For the size, I'll select size 40. Then click on OK. For the teacher, code and initials, you can switch it on and off accordingly. Then you can print the full name if you want. But want us to use the initials and the code. You can adjust where you want it to be. Want it to be there. Then for the font size, I'll make it size 15. Make it bold. Select the same font style. Then click on OK. So you can as well switch these buttons on and off if you wish to use them. You want them to appear on your printout and click on OK. So you can see the subjects are visible and you can clearly see them from a distance. You can even change the font for the days. You can change it if you wish. But I leave it where we are. Here we have the class teacher. You can actually change the font and what have you. Now the next step, I want us to upload the logo. The logo can be found under the design standard. So click on design standard. This was our header, the title of our timetable. You can as well key in the footer. That's the text below the timetable. If you leave it blank, it will print the date of generation of the timetable, which is today's date. But I normally type in the school uh, motto. Our school motto was a tradition of excellence. That is the motto and then for the logo check this box you can clear and then we have pre designed logo within the SC itself or you can select your own design I have my design in the pictures this is this one and I click on it open it is there then click on close so you can see our school badge or logo it is in our timetable that's how the timetables will look like for grade one two and three for whichever classes or forms we are preparing the timetable uh, for now there is another thing here under the reports, we have what you call the subject grid. This is a very important area. It can help you to detect errors in your timetable. For example, you can see 10 lessons for grade 1 instead of 5. We don't have the PE lessons. So once I have detected that, I'll simply uh, go back. I'll go to specifications. Then I'll go to classes. That should be grade one. Select grade one. Then I'll go to lessons. Under lessons, I can see this teacher has double entry for literacy. Now that is the same teacher who teaches PE in that class, 
I'll simply change one of the lessons to physical education. So I'll select one of the literacy subjects, click on edit lessons, and then I come under the subjects, I'll select physical education, physical health education. It's still the same number of lessons, five lessons per week. Then I'll click on OK. Then I'll close. Close that one. So when you go back, you can see uh, physical health education, we now have five lessons. Under literacy, we have five lessons. So everything is now OK. We can proceed with our design, the main under print preview I'll go back to the timetable for each class now the next area is to work on the colors of our timetable if you don't want it in monochrome we have option an option for the colors there so check this box so that you can print in colors you can play around with all these adjustments as you change the colors and what have you. So it will give you the option to customize the colors for your timetable. Only change uh, the outside lines, the line width. I'll make it uh, 6. And for the inside lines, I'll make it 3. I'm using a 10 inch screen. We have uh, an OK button down there but you cannot see it on my screen so i'll press the tab key until i get there so when it gets to clear i'll click the tab and then okay and you can see my timetable is colors next that blue color does not blend so well with the black so i'll use the lighter version of that i'll go back to <coughs> specification sorry and then we have teachers the teacher with blue color is teacher Stim. I'll select him and then I'll go to edit and change that color to a lighter version of blue. I'll use that blue. Click on OK. Click on OK. Click on OK. Then close. So you can see it is now uh, clear. So those are the timetables you can print from. Want us to print our timetable? <coughs> so we can close this one, go back to print preview. Under print preview, you can see the print icon. We have this first option, print control plus P. Click on that one. The following dialog box will pop up. If you're connected to a printer, you can go straight away and print. But now I don't have a printer. I will select the PDF version of it. I'll go to properties. There is a button here I need to uncheck because it won't print if it relies on the system fonts only. The fonts I'm using on my timetable might not be uh, downloaded in the system. So I'll click on OK. I'll print all <coughs> the timetables here only three if you want to print a timetable for a particular class you can come to pages and then select if it is page one you can select page one to one if it is page two select page two to two if it is page three select page three to three to print a specific page or a range of timetables now I'm going to print on the file then click on OK. I'll select the folder in which I want to save my timetable. Shoot you on the desktop and save it in this folder. And then I'll change the name. This is BD. BD School. BD school time to pause. Then under save as type, click there and then select all files. 
if you select the first option it is prl it's not pdf select all files i'm saving in this folder the timetable click on open and then save i'll replace the first one so it is printing it is done now i'll go straight away and open that folder to show you the printouts there they are these are the printouts of our timetable you can see we have nicely designed timetables look so nice so i believe you have enjoyed this tutorial remember to subscribe to support my channel i hope you have learned something from this tutorial if so give this video a big thumbs up comment and share above all subscribe to my channel and hit that bell on so that you don't miss out on my upcoming uploads thank you for watching see you then